Good morning everybody. Today we're going to be looking at Roman numerals and hopefully by the end of this lesson you will be able to change Roman numerals to integers. So first of all, can you remember what any of the numerals are? I'll give you a hint, they are letters. So we've got I, V, X, L, C, D and M. These letters can make any number. Can you remember what any of these letters are worth? Have a think for a second. I'll give you a clue. They're in ascending order. So remember, ascending order means from smallest to largest. Have a think for a second. So, I is worth one. V is worth five. X is worth 10. L is worth 50, C is worth 100, D is worth 500, and M is worth 1000. So this means that because I is 1, that 2 is II. We know this because 2 is 1 plus 1. So therefore, this means that it is I plus I. Have a look at these three. Are they correct? So we've got I, I, I is 3, V, V is 10, and X is 10. So I, I, I is 3, V, V is not 10, because once we get to 10, it changes from V to X. So just pause the video for a second, have a think. What would 20 be? What about 40? So 20 would be XX and 40 would be XL. So what happens then when I want a number like 35? So first of all, I need to think about how I make the number. So how would I make the number 30 in Roman numerals? Well, I know that X is 10, so I would, like, I would want three X's. So you've got 10, add 10, add 10, which is 30, XXX. And how do I make five? Well, I remember from the last slide that V equals 5. So in order to make 5, it would be a V. So if I wanted 35, I would bring them all together and it would be X, 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 V. Okay, so in order to turn this number to a Roman numeral, I need to do 10, add 10, add 10, add 5, which would be 35. So, what do you notice about these numerals? So we've got XXX, which is 30. We've got MC, which is 1,100. We've got LXV, which is 65. IV, which is 4. XC, which is 90. And CD, which is 400. Just have a look. What do you notice about the different numerals? Okay, so if you have a look at the ones down the left hand side, so that's XXX, MC and LXV, have a look at the numerals. Can you see how the first letter is larger than the second letter? So for example, in MC, M is a thousand and C is a hundred. And in LXV, L is larger than X, which is larger than V. L equals 50, X equals 10, and V equals five. Now, have a look at the ones on the right hand side. Can you see how the letter at the start is smaller than the letter that comes after it? So for example, I is smaller than V because I equals one and V equals five. X is smaller than C because X equals 10 and C equals 100. And C is smaller than D because C equals 100 and D equals 500. So, if the first letter is worth more than the next letter, you add them together. So, for example, VI is equal to 6. V is worth 5 and I is worth 1. The I is after the V, so this means that you add them together. Okay, so can you see how your larger number is at the beginning? So, you add them together. If the first letter is smaller than the second letter, you take it away from the second letter. So, if we look at IV. IV is worth 4. 
So 1 is worth 1 and V is worth 5. Okay, so the I becomes before the V, which means that your calculation would be 5 minus 1, which is 4. Okay, so you take it away. So if the second letter is larger than the first letter, you take the first letter away from the second letter. Pause the video now and have a look at these um, numerals. Can you change them to integers? Once you think you've finished, start the video again and we will look at the answers. Remember in the top right hand corner there are your numerals and integers there for you to help you. Okay, so let's have a look at the answers then. So xi is 11 because x is larger than i so you add them together. xl is 40 because x is smaller than l so you take x away from l. CL is 150 because C is larger than L, therefore you add them together. The D is worth 400 because C is less than D, therefore you take C away from D. CCXX is worth 220 because you've got C and C which are the same so you add them together. And then you've got XX which are the same so you add them together. Okay, then we've got XCI which is 91. So x is smaller than c, so you would do c take away x, and then you would add i, so that's 91. Now we get to the more trickier ones. So we've got x, x, v, i, which would be 26. So you've got x, add x, add v, add i. Okay, because they are going um, from largest to smallest. After this one, we've got c, d, x, x, which would be 420. c, m, i, i which would be 902, MMDI, which would be 2,501, DCXXI, which would be 621, CCL, which would be 250, CCM, which is 800. This next one looks really, really tricky, but it's not that difficult. So you've got M add M, which is 2,000, C add C add C, which is 300, and then 50, so it would be 2,350. Your next one, XCV, is 95. You've then got LXXIV, which is 74. And then MXXVI, which is 1,026. Well done, Year 6. I hope this is a bit more clearer for you, and I will speak to you again soon. Stay safe.